How big should a worm bin be? Well, here's the answer. So enjoy the video! Well, hello. If you're new to becoming a worm farmer, here's a question I need to ask you first. Where are you going to store your worm bin? You have to think about that because if it's too tall, it won't fit underneath your sink. It might be too tall to sit underneath, to fit underneath your bed or wherever you're gonna keep it at. Or sometimes it might be too small that you won't have enough worms in it. But for me, I use an average of about an 18 gallon tote. They're not real deep they're, and they're not too shallow. They're just about the right size for me. Um, when it comes to bedding, if you're using totes, I would recommend, you know, using about four to six inches of bedding to start out with. But you also have the, the worm towers, the 360s. They're the perfect size too. And how those work, you, you add food, remo keep removing your trays to the next level. But they say you, you can have poten the potential to add more, you know, more shelves for more worms to keep migrating up. So that's something to look into. You gotta think of the height and you gotta think about the weight because worm castings do get heavy over the years. So in a perfect world, there's really no correct size to start with. People use, have, they use 55 gallon drums cut in half. Some people use urban worm bags, but starting out, I would recommend and encourage you to start off small. And then when you gain more experience, upgrade to a larger size container so that's just a quick tip here are a few other videos to check out about worms if you like what you're hearing from me subscribe to my channel give this video a like i just want to take time out to say thank you for watching us you have a great day bye